hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i just want to do um a quick introduction on the portfolio on the psychiatrist portfolio our portfolio is a bit different from other portfolios so if you're coming from either medicine or you're new to the uk you'll find a few struggles while trying to use the portfolio first of all what's the portfolio you may be one watching this video and you're wondering what's a portfolio a portfolio is just an electronic way of tracking your progress as a doctor for us as trainee it is very crucial because it's the way that um health education in england is able to find out whether we are progressing as trainees whether we are achieving the competences that we are supposed to be expected to achieve in a particular period of time so the first thing you need to do if you don't know about the portfolio you've just gotten a training post the first thing you need to do is to subscribe to the royal college of psychiatrists once you pay the annual subscription automatically you will be able to access your portfolio now when you access the portfolio the next thing you need to do is set up your profile set up your profile that one is very easy to do and it's quite straightforward your name date of birth you can put a photo if you want to and all the other things that they will ask you in the personal profile now after setting up your profile the next thing that i advise you to do is to look through the curriculum and see what things are you expected to achieve in the specialty that you're in at that particular moment now when you look through the curriculum it will guide you on what to do first what things are easy to achieve and it will also guide you on how to set up your pdp what's a pdp a pdp is a personal development plan so now after looking through the curriculum just briefly flip through then next thing you need to do is to to come up with your pdp this could be about five it, you may need like five to six pdps i normally don't go beyond five because i want to send a pdp that is achievable by the end of my core training and after setting my pdp normally i discuss it with my clinical supervisor to see if they agree with me or if they have any any changes they feel they might want to do now after doing that doing your pdp the next thing is to start actually logging your assessments now the easiest thing to log first is a cbd and a cbd is a case-based discussion this can be done as early as possible because we do case-based discussions almost from time to time so the next thing i'm going to do is to show you practically how to do it enough with you seeing my face so you can access the portfolio online by going on to portfolio type in portfolio online and then any of these can do but i'll go for this so you can as you can see i am already logged in on, onto this computer so then i'll log in so that's the dashboard it gives me on my portfolio because my portfolio is already active and i've been doing things but this should not um, deter you so when you log on to your portfolio first remember what i talked about create your profile and then you'll have to also create a training folder now my portfolio is a bit messed up because i made a mistake and i created a new training folder for my current placement so it was mistakenly updated to the current 2022 curriculum but regardless i'll still show you what i need to show you so the first thing i talked about is creating a pdp as you can see i already have 13 pdps items but if you want to create a pdp with a new curriculum you just click on portfolio and then when you go to the pdp here because i've already put mine it allows me to edit but if you haven't put it will allow you still to put something so you can come here and then you're able to put, to type in your pdp and you can keep editing this until the end of your rotation if you feel probably towards the end of your rotation there's a pdp you put and you haven't achieved it you can still come and edit that and take it out so when you're done with that you just come down here and you save 
and then it will be saved under your PDP. Now, after doing the PDP, it, the next thing that you'll have to be doing is just to log your assessments and all the things that you needed to do towards your training. Now, with the new curriculum, it is so nice that once you click on the PDP, you can actually be able to log your activities under this. So you can see, for example, I have been logging my supervisions just directly under the PDP, as you can see. I also logged my quality improvement activity under this. So it is so easy to use according to me, although people find it tr tricky, but I find it easier. So here, I come and log my activities. Once I'm comfortable with my activities, I then submit them and then my supervisor can be able to see them. So I forgot to submit this, so I'm going to submit that so that it becomes visible for my supervisor to see. I really hope they leave me on that 2022 curriculum because I'm enjoying it. I emailed Portfolio Online because I wanted, I was confused whether I'm supposed to stay on the 2016 curriculum or I might as well stick to this 2022 curriculum. But I just wanted to, wanted to give you a glimpse of the new curriculum, how nice it is that you're able to log your activities directly under the, under the PDP. Anyway. The important bit was for me to show you how to log your PDP. You go under PDP and then you edit. Under here, you're able to put your PDP the way you want it. Now, the next thing that is easy and important is your assessments. If you want to log your assessments, there are so many ways of doing it. But for me, I normally come here. I come to assessments and then I say new assessment. And then, for example, we are going to log a CBD. I come here, I type case-based case discussion. So as you can see, my things are named as pilot because my portfolio is mixed up with the new portfolio. So let me just give you an example of doing a CBD today, for example. So I'll type a CBD there. It will create the assessment. And then I'll go down. And then I'll say link to it. I normally say case log here because that's what is given to us. And then here I put the age of the patient. So let's say 79. And then here I put the details. So make sure when you're logging in here, you don't put patient identifiers. You know the same way we used to present cases in medical school. 79-year-old female who presented with this and this and this. Make sure that the information does not identify the patient. So here type whatever you want to do. And then, and then after that, you say when you did it. So this is normal working day. This is out of hours. So I tick that. My patient will be a male. Is there anything to do with the Mental Health Act? No, I don't think so. Then I'll come and save this as a draft. Okay. So then I'll just continue working on this until I'm done. Once I'm done with it, then it will be easy to submit. I'll just go on and submit it for my supervisor who will come and fill in these things. And then that will be it. So I think for the purpose of um, making these videos shorter, I'll be doing them in phases. So that is it for today. Bye.